Welcome everyone to our um, third or fourth project. I can't remember. I think it's third. Um, our third project. And this one is going to be um, a follow along drawing for today. And then we're going to talk about color in future classes. So today, the first thing, I'm not going to talk about what we're making too much. I know you guys saw Peacock, but um, I'm not going to tell you what part we're drawing until um, we get further on. So what I want is I want you to see if you can find about the middle of the paper. So I think this on mine is about the middle, right? And you're going to put a tiny dot, okay? There's my tiny dot right there. Right, so it's very small, very light, tiny dot in the middle. All right, and then what we're gonna do, and you guys remember you can pause this at any time. You can hit the space bar and pause it and kind of draw it as you need to. Um, the house um, drawing was kind of a practice for this. So from this dot, we are gonna go to this dot to about out to here, right? So you can see the distance about out to here, and we're gonna make kind of like a bridge line. So a little bit of a curve like that, All right? Then we're going to connect this end with this one with a line. Right? And again, you guys are using pencil. I'm using pen because it's a little bit easier to see. And then we're gonna go um, and make a line that kind of slants down. And then the next line, we're going to curve up, but we're gonna be short. We're not gonna go all the way to the point. We're gonna to go to about here. And so we're gonna curve up like that. Okay. Then this kind of curves. And so right about here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at this point. So not at the, where we put that dot, but up higher. And we are going to go up. Now, just I'm not drawing anything yet. You can see we're going up. This is going to be the top of the head. So from here, we're going to go up like that. Okay. And then what I want you to think of is it's almost like we're going to make an S, except for we're not going to come back up. So we're not doing like a full S, but we're going to kind of come down and then in a little bit, not a lot. All right, so please watch me do this first. Don't do it as I'm doing it, all right? Watch me do the whole thing, and then you can kind of see what it looks like, all right? So we're starting where we left off, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna curve down, and then once we get here, we're gonna go out like that, okay? So it's kind of like a little bit of an S, and then it goes out. All right, then where this little spot, so not where we put that original dot, but here, we're gonna curve down and then right here, see how it gets skinny? Right here is where we're gonna go out. Okay, so we have like the body of the bird, we have the neck, comes around to the head. All right, so now that you have that, what we're gonna do is we're going to, in kind of the middle of the head, we're gonna put one circle for the eye. Okay. And then going back to where we put that original dot, we're gonna curve up past the eye like that. And then this is kind of a funny shape. We're going to kind of curve down and then go up to the eye. So we curve down and then up to the eye. And then behind the eye, we're gonna come up like this. And then we're gonna go back to the top of the eye. And then this one goes into the beak. And then one more line here. Okay. We can put a little 
smaller circle there. You can put a little line in the beak. And then what we're going to do is, it's almost like we're going to draw a um, triangle, but we're going to come up like this a little ways. So a line that comes out. And then we're going to go kind of right next to where we started that line. And now we're going to come and curve this way. So imagine if it was a triangle, we would have a line here. And what I want you to do is I want you to put some circles that touch. So again, watch me do this whole thing. And then I'll have you do it. So I start away from the circle. I know my hand was covering there. And then I go until I touch the circle and then I come back. So I start away from the circle. Then I come to the circle. That. And I'm going to do one more. So now what we want is we're going to do a line to the head and see how all the lines kind of come into the same spot from the middle of each circle. So just like that. All right. Then down, um, so where the neck gets skinny here, down here, we are going to make a cloud shape okay. and then another cloud shape here. Right. Then <clears throat> we're going to come up from where it starts to curve out like this. And we're gonna go with a little line that goes right up to the that part of the eye. And then we're gonna come all the way down to the bottom here and we're gonna go towards the middle. And then we're gonna go and curve into the head. Again, pause at any time. Um, you're drawing with pencil so you can erase it at any time. What I want to do now is we're going to be putting some ovals in the background. Okay, and you're going to start down close to the cloud. All right, and this first oval is kind of small. Okay. And then we're going to go in between the beak and this oval, and we're going to make another one. Then we're going to go up here. And then kind of as if it's like these ovals kind of go in a weird pattern around the bird's head. And I can even, since I have a space over here, I could have one that goes off the paper. Okay. But that looks pretty good. Okay. So now that I have what looks like floating eggs in the background, we're going to start by drawing a line from the center of the circle. And then we're gonna go not through the circle, but we're gonna act like it did go through and we're gonna go up to the top and make a line. Okay. Then again, starting from the center of the oval or circle, you're gonna come down towards the body again when it hits a beak or the head or any part of the body, you're going to pick your pencil up, float, and then act as if it can pass. Hits the circle, float. Once it gets to the end, then we're gonna draw it off. Start at the middle, 
come towards the body. Start in the middle, come towards the body, and then remember to go past it. Start in the middle, come towards the body, and then go to the other side. Start at the middle, come towards the body. Start in the middle, come towards the body. Okay. So now that I have, and I'll put this in the center, now that I have those lines drawn, now what I'm going to do is add lines that go next to the circles. Okay. And you can probably fit about two in between each. Remember, if you get to the beak or a body part, you got to hop over to the other side of it. So I'm doing two. Then after we have all these lines, I know there's a lot going on. Um, what we're gonna do is towards the bottom of the ovals, we're gonna add another oval and then another little circle inside of that. So down towards the bottom, not in the center, down towards the bottom, another oval and then a smaller one. And if you have one like this that goes off the paper, you draw the same thing, just part of it. Showing. All right. So those are the long um, feathers. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start to make these hills. Okay? And they're gonna be small, close to the body. So these are gonna be a lot like fish scales. And what we need to do is remember to start in the middle of the hills. So after we did a whole one all the way down. Now we're going to start in the middle and go to the middle of the next hill. Middle to the middle to the middle off. And then I go back to where I started here and then I'm going to make one that goes off. So now I go back to a middle. Okay. And if I get up to the end of our shape that's okay so again going to the middles okay. and now down to the other side again i'm turning my paper so we go right along the body Then you can start wherever. You could start right in the middle and go from the middle of this one to the middle of this one. And then to the edge. And then I would go back to the middle of this one. Middle and then off the paper. Middle to the middle. Middle. And so you fill up that whole space. So now we have our bird complete. Oops. So what I want you to do now is um, keep it in a safe spot. Okay, change anything that you notice that you don't like. Um, 
but leave it like this. Don't do any more to it. Um, and next class, we will um, talk about color and pattern. All right. Nice job.